the, the amendment. Representative McDermott. Yes, Mr. Speaker. The point of this whole exercise here is to say that emergency contraception, I'm amending this to take this language out. That's, that's the amendment. And I'm explaining the reason why I'm taking it out. It's not contraception because people believe that they're pregnant. But let's go on to the religious exemption because I seem to have struck a nerve there. Mr. Speaker, why should people, now this is individuals, now we're talking about individuals, not institutions, Mr. Speaker. We're talking about individuals who request a religious exemption, and I'm thinking about the new facility, St. Francis, well, the old St. Francis West, whatever you call, out there in Eva Beach. And I'm thinking about a first generation immigrant who's a nurse or a nurse's aide who's working there, and she doesn't know our country very well, but she is a devout Catholic, I can, I can see her in my mind's eye, Mr. Speaker. And she doesn't want to do this. But she's not told she can't. And she's, there's no religious exemption for her. So she has a, a, a choice. She could violate her faith and do this. And the reason she violates her faith, Mr. Speaker, is because the Catholic Church says life begins at conception. That's the doctrine. Mr. Speaker, I'll yield my uh, time. Johansson. I'll yield my time. Thank you that, very that, much. That's the doctrine. So there's, no, so there's no religious exemption for the institution. We've just thrown that away. So now we're asking for a religious institution, a conscious exemption for an employee who works there says, I don't want to do this. We can't even do that, Mr. Speaker. We got the United States Constitution. It guarantees us free exercise of religion. We can't do that. Oh, we're told in the hearings, oh, you can go to the EEOC and file a complaint. Like a first-generation American English is their second language, even knows what the EO, EEOC is or where it's located, they're not going to do that, Mr. Speaker. They don't want to jeopardize their job. They've got to pay their bills. But in our arrogance, in our hubris, we know what's better for them. We're going to tell them what to do, when to do it. We're going to redefine pregnancy. We're not going to give them a conscience clause. And damn it, we're going to step on their religious freedom, their liberty. McDermott, you, you need get a to get away. through the exception that you requested. Well, I'm talking about the conscience clause, Mr. Speaker, okay. and we're not giving it to them. And that's in here. The bill is talking about a conscience clause. We, we, we did not give the institution. Now we're giving it to the person. If you work in a facility and you don't want to do it, why must you participate in this activity when you have all sorts of rights manufactured, made up, all over the place, we debate them all the time. Here's one explicitly guaranteed in the Constitution, and we will not, will not do it because we're, the political correctness is the new fascism of the day, and we're being swallowed alive by it. Thank you. Thank you very much.